Okay, everyone. Need to get back at getting this Jag taken apart. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be uh, continuing to work on the motor here this morning and uh, try to get these uh, wiring harnesses here. Oh, this one and this one. We get them laid back. Um, so, that's what we'll be doing today. <laughs> Oh, well, here's the old tool layout. And, of course, the old green Bible. The parts I've been putting over here, I went ahead and straightened them out. Uh, that way, I know this is the uh, right side, the center of the car, and the left side and uh, that kind of helps keep me straight on what I'm doing. So, uh, let's get busy on that car, what do you say? Okay guys, let's see where we're at with this thing. Um, disconnect starter solenoid and starter motor feed cables from bulkhead connector 26. Get that done. Okay. Well, it's definitely in a tight spot. Why ain't that going on down? Hmm. Mm. Don't slide out. <laughs> this line here. Ah, okay. There's our starter switch. Uh, let me get a tool and we can pull this down and uh, see what size nut that is. That looks like a what, 13, maybe a 14. Let me get a tool. Alright, let me get a hold of this baby. Let's see if I can't get that in there. got the nut uh, I get that lock washer but I just don't want it to come off there now, there's two wires hooked up here that wire and there's another wire here okay and it is a brown wire the brown wire goes on with the battery cable here the starter cable okay and then the red and white of course is probably the celluloid ah, let's see where's the little clip at Got that, Liz. Okay, that washer's still in there. We'll have to get that out when the time comes. Okay, looks like we got the uh, cable pulled. So let's go see what we need to tackle next. 
Well, the next thing I think we're going to do is uh, get this uh, power steering pump removed, get this other belt off, uh, and get that laid back out of our way. So, um, what does that look like 14, maybe a 15 there. We'll go ahead and get uh, get all that taken loose. 14. Oh yeah, that's what she is. So, let's go ahead and get a 14. Okay. We'll go ahead and... Well, oh, I said that was a 14. Boy, that don't want to fit. Wow. Well, that's weird. Let me get a 916. Now I should be able to pull that bolt through and get my ranch off. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's take this off. Okay. Okay, now. Hmm. Probably should be a bolt down low. underneath and uh, get that baby okay. and there she is oh well guys uh, we're looking at this bolt oh let me get my hand up there we're looking at this bolt coming through here and right back here. It's coming through as you can see that stud right there. Okay. So, and the front end is right here. So, I'm not going to be able to get you a real good shot while I'm taking that apart. So, I'll go ahead and get that pulled out and then we should be able to rotate that and get uh, the belt off. Okay, let me get that out. Got that nut out. <laughs> That's a booger bear, fine thread. Okay, well, uh, my belt should come off now, and uh, I should be able to get that bolt out of that power steering pump and uh, just leave that lay over to the side of the car. There we go. Oh yeah, that's uh, that'd be loose. That's loose. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. yeah. There, we are. there you go. 
Okay. That. Now. Okay. And we dropped a washer or something. Oh, yeah, washer right there. And out come the bolt. We got it. That was a big daddy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay, we got that. Okay, we should be able to lift that right off. Let's uh, we'll go back up uh, top for a minute. Check that out. Let's go. There it is. That's where the bolt came out of. And that uh, power steering is ready to move over. Okay, well guys, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get underneath and we're gonna try to get this oil uh, divider here undone. This line down in here is going down to the uh, side of the motor by the oil filter. So, we're going to get underneath the car here and uh, see if we can't get that loose. And then that'll uh, release all of these uh, wiring harnesses here. Both those will be released. As you can see, they're stuck right here under these lines over there at both sides. So, well, let's get underneath there and see if we can get that off. Okay. Uh, okay. Right there is that <coughs> oil filter. Uh, and I see up in there. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can get a better shot for you. You see him right there? up in there. There it is. You can see it now. Now you can see it. That's what we're after. So, let me get the uh, wrench going here and uh, we'll try and get that off. Oh, I got it. Hold on. Let me get a pan now. We can see it right up here, right there. If you can, I don't know that you can, but uh, that's what we're taking off next. Got the banjo bolt. Now, see, I'm gonna need to get this sensor off, this crankshaft sensor. Uh, that looks like about an eight.
Ah, and there it is. Okay. Well, we'll go back up on top. See if we can't fish that oil line on out of there. Let's get going. Okay, well, we do have the oil line taken loose. So, let's see if we can't get her fished up through here. Uh -huh. Let's see. That's uh, been cut. All right. We've got that wiring harness out of there. Wow. See, this here is the um, crank sensor. All right. So, well, let's go see what's up next. I think I'm going to go ahead and remove that distributor cap. Okay, I just got the rotary button off. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah. We got about everything loose. Okay, so, all right, let's go over and uh, see what's next. Okay, let's go down our checklist here. Let's see. Next thing is a disconnect oil cooler pipes, plug broken connections for plant ingress of dirt. Okay, I guess we get the oil cooler off next, guys. That's what we're after. Okay. Here's that oil cooler. Um, uh, I got quite a few pipes here. They go back down under the motor there. So we can see that. Uh, yeah, they're there. Here's that comes over, goes up into here, and there's that bolt, and uh, here's this, and we'll have to get underneath and get a look at those. First of all, let's uh, try to get these uh, first ones off up here. Okay, let's see what size wrench that. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh. Uh, that looks like at least an inch. Bigger than that.
Looks like we got a couple. Looks like maybe a 10 millimeter there. And we can take this cooler off. You get that 10 millimeter. Ah, beautiful. Uh, let's see, we'll have to go underneath, see if we can uh, get those loose down there. There we are. Okay. Now those are some big ranches. That's got to be at least an inch of water. Inch and a half. <laughs> Not too big. Oh, perfect. I need about an inch and a quarter for that one. Ah, uh, make it. Them babies off. Wow. What a line for an old line, huh? Three quarter inch lines. Son of a gun. That's what you call heavy duty. Okay, well, we got that baby gun. Now, let's uh, go on and get on out of here. Okay, guys. Well, I think this is a good stopping point. We've got a lot done. <laughs> got that valley cleared out. Isn't that great? Yeah. So, uh, well, that's going to end it here. And uh, like I say, subscribe, share, comment, hit that notification bell. I appreciate it all. Thanks a lot.